We're down here at uh, Wolsey, South Dakota, at Jay Eckstead's uh, finishing barn that we did for him. Now. It's a unique barn for us. We've had uh, we have a few issues down here with some other contractors, and the nice thing is we stood behind Jay the whole way through this. Uh, Jay and his family is very appreciative of us. Uh, just went through a few bad issues on this barn with some other people. Nice thing is with this barn here, we did the catwalk all the way over the top. No need to get in and walk the pens in this barn. He can check all the cattle from above. Very, very nice water system, runs over the top, so it's not underneath the pit or anything, so there's any issues at all, you just stay up top and work on it. Uh, once again here, did the feed reels and everything, the bunk lines, the uh, water fountain guards, the divider fences, side rails on the walls here. We also teamed up with Gene Dubas with Dubas Cattle Equipments, put in a turret tub, an alleyway, and chutes here. But as we go down the barn, you'll see, just to the catwalk from up above, also the gating that we have, so when we let the cattle out of the pens to get down to the other end, we can shut the gates, take them down, get them worked, return them back down the return alley, and put them back into their pens here. Works out very, very well. As we're going down the alleyway here, you'll see we got the precast bunks in place. They were poured the first time, um, and what we ended up doing was having to knock out all the concrete, and then we brought in the precast bunks. We had to redo all our feed reels and everything. This is where the cattle will come down the alleyway. They'll come into our bug box system, into the turret tub, into the alleyway, through the chute, return back down the other alleyway into their pen. Very simple concept of this system here. I mean, it's as simple as just opening a couple gates, walking the cattle down, coming into our bug box system here. They enter into the turret gate, sweep the cattle around, through our alleyway, into the silencer chute. Bug box can be as simple as just this right here. Also take this gate here and swing him around. Hits the slam latch. The gate will actually go that way too. So when he brings him in, the gate will latch that way. Hit this wall, turn around and come right into the turret. And once again right on back through. Now as we're up here on the catwalk, you can also see we're not down there disrupting the cattle. We're not trying to get ran over, get kicked, trampled, anything like that. So we can walk all the way down to the other end of the barn, check the pens. Mark them, get an ear number, whatever we need to do, get them out, get them treated, back into the fence. The other nice thing is here now, so we keep on coming down. You'll see our gate system in here, and where the gates are is where the pump outs are. So then the, when the pumpers come to clean out the barn, they can back right on up, open the gates, and we're not messing around, moving a bunch of cattle out of the way or nothing like that. So very seldom we ever run into the problems. It was just a uh, you know, honestly, this is the first time we've had that kind of problem with the contractors that we were working with here at this barn. Uh, and I know Jay had me on the phone a lot with questions, just because we've done so many of these barns, and he knows that we know what we've got going on and that we're doing the right thing. You know, and the contractors that were here, I can't say anything bad about them. There were just a few mistakes that had happened, and we helped Jay get through them, and everything worked out fine in the end. It just took a lot longer.